there is no way I could actually be with a man the entirety of another woman's pregnancy that he got pregnant while we were together. When I tell you I had no inclination that that man was cheating and lying to me, I thought he was just a fucking asshole. She thought he was just going to work overnight. From what he told me on our first date, he told me that he had four children and they had four different mothers. They were all children with different women. But you have to have some fucking self-control, some self-respect and some self-control. You know, people don't you know, even. You're acting like a fucking toddler in a candy store. You gotta learn how to say no. As much as yeah, sometimes he wasn't. You got to learn how to say no. You knew if you told me that, if you had told me those things, after that date, we would have never spoken again. But you wanted something that you. You wanted something that you knew you wouldn't be able to have if you were honest with me. So you chose to lie, you chose to manipulate, so you could rob me, so you could steal it from me. So you could have all the things that you know a man with that type of baggage can't have, can't access. You stole it from me, you chose to steal it from me. You felt like you deserved it for whatever reason, even though you had to lie to get it, even though you had to manipulate to get it. And we don't live in a perfect world. Anything can happen to anyone any given day. And I can say wholeheartedly that if you would have told me all of your truth the day of our first date, I would have never been in a relationship with you. It would have never happened. September would have been the beginning and the end of you and me. But I wouldn't have had the chance to hate you at all. We wouldn't be enemies now. Because I wouldn't have known you. So you would have one less enemy for being honest. After this series is finished, I'm pretty sure that there's definitely something coming.